Hello guys, this is Farzad Shahbandi from visualcomputer.net. Welcome to my channel. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the second lesson of OpenCV CUDA programming. And uh, in this lesson, firstly, we want to talk about the Gaussian blur. And after that, we want to uh, compare the GPU and CPU in running the same program uh, of Gaussian Blur and uh, compare the speed of these two programs. Let's get down to the work. Uh, as you may see in the background, uh, we have the libraries both for GPU and for the CPU. And uh, we have two namespaces for STD and also the CV. Uh, here, for reading from the uh, USB camera, uh, we can uh, use this syntax and also we can uh, write, for example, here 0, 1, 2 or something like this. But uh, by using this syntax, it is better to control uh, the um, size of the images and the frame rate and many things. Uh, let me describe it to you. Uh, I want my mm, picture to be of, uh, 800 to 600 and here the device I uh, introduced to my uh, uh, program is device number 4 because I have uh, some uh, other cameras uh, attached to the computer and the Philip mode is 4 to flip it horizontally and also uh, I have the display width and display height uh, commands here and the frame rate of uh, 30 and uh, after that we introduce this variable which is a string to my video capture uh, it will be used for both GPU and CPU uh, to count the frame rates uh, we introduce uh, some variables for example old variable uh, of uh, FPS is uh, written here to have uh, the initial value of 100 I will describe it in detail to you here uh, for the first function I introduced the CPU speed test and uh, it is for OpenCV uh, with uh, GPU sorry OpenCV with CPU and uh, running the Gaussian blur with it uh, here uh, we introduce the uh, window uh, by the name of image and after that in the while loop if it is uh, opened uh, we introduce uh, we read the uh, cap here frame by frame and read the uh, read it with the uh, read command and after that check to see if it is empty or not and if it is not empty we continue we have a, a get tick count uh, which is used to calculate uh, the amount of time it is the start time and after that uh, we introduced two variables of uh, mate which is a matrix for the images uh, one is for the gray one um, and another for the uh, blur and as you know uh, the Gaussian blur uh, works fine with gray uh, so we need to convert the colors uh, to gray one by this command and after that the Gaussian blur uh, will be uh, called here and uh, the image blur is the output and the input is the uh, gray image uh, and uh, these are some parameters uh, for it and, and the size of the uh, uh, boxes that uh, it uses uh, and it is the kernel uh, <coughs> and after that we end the uh, get uh, tick count uh, here by the subtracting the uh, first it means the start time and the end time uh, we can have the frame rate 
by these uh, two lines uh, because I don't want uh, the fluctuation uh, we use uh, a filter like this 90% of the old uh, frame per second by the 10% of the current per, uh, frame per second it will be the frame per second and uh, we put it on the screen by uh, this command and after that we put the uh, old FPS uh, the FPS will be uh, replaced in old FPS okay uh, we have the weight key here and uh, this is the showing the image of us uh, let us uh, run the CPU here in the main part in the main block uh, we, we, we will run the CPU and uh, for uh, testing the speed let me build it by uh, Control shift b pressing Control shift b okay the rooster is uh, created here and let us uh, run it uh, rooster okay this is my blur uh, image as you see here and the frame per second is uh, about 1400 it is about 1400 okay let us uh, delete the rooster here go to the main program and this time we want to talk about the other function which which is gpu speed here uh, uh, we call the uh, cuda info as uh, i described in the, in the lesson one and other the other time uh, we created the image and here is the difference between the cpu and gpu we need a uh, pointer here uh, of uh, CUDA filter and it is uh, the variable of us uh, Gaussian filter it is uh, um, the name and I choose uh, this name for it and after that uh, we introduce and use the CUDA create Gaussian filter which is uh, the command to uh, Gaussian filter creation uh, it needs uh, two spaces here and uh, the, the first one uh, is the input and the other one is the output and the other time the same uh, kernel size and other uh, settings uh, which is exactly as per here uh, here as you see it is the same okay in the while loop uh, the same as the CPU and uh, the image is the uh, same as uh, CPU we will read the image and put it uh, here uh, and uh, now for the GPU the, the things are a bit different you need uh, some uh, variables to put the GPU of uh, uh, GPU pictures in the pictures which is suitable for the GPU uh, we use the CUDA uh, GPU mat uh, these are the type uh, of uh, these three uh, variables to upload the image which is here it is in the CPU up to here everything is in the CPU from here on from here on we want to use the GPU but uh, the GPU uh, is a, a different type and uh, it is a CUDA GPU mat so we, we should upload uh, the image in, in, into another uh, variable which is CUDA GPU mat and then and then the name is uh, IMG GPU as you see here so the image here this variable will be uploaded to image GPU okay now if the image GPU is not empty we will go on get the uh, start the get tick count here and after that uh, changing the color here and uh, as you see the uh, changing color is also 
is done uh, on the, the GPU format of our images but uh, the command is different the command is CUDA CVT color uh, in the previous one it was uh, CVT color but here it is uh, CUDA CVT color okay and the format and the input is uh, image GPU which is the format of GPU and uh, uh, the output is a uh, gray and uh, it is the, uh, the it is as the same as the uh, CPU format now the Gaussian filter uh, because it is uh, <coughs> a kind of pointer we use uh, this uh, format to apply uh, the Gaussian filter to it as I told you here we need two spaces one for in input and the other for one for the output so uh, by using uh, this command here uh, this one will be input and the other one will be the output which is Gaussian image GPU the format is described here as you see okay uh, here the, the tick count is um, finished uh, we calculate a frame per second and Gaussian image GPU will be downloaded uh, now into images image variable so here uh, things is uh, vice versa this uh, in, in this command the image went to image GPU here uh, the Gaussian image GPU will be go to image okay now the image is uh, the CPU format of Gaussian image GPU we will write the frame per second on it and uh, put the frame per second in old uh, FPS and uh, show the image okay now I want to change the CPU this time to GPU and build it by uh, pressing Control shift b okay run the rooster and it starts okay as you see the frame rate is uh, uh, a bit goes up and down but it is normally near 2000 uh, and uh, it is uh, much more than the frame per second of the CPU uh, if you change the blur uh, blur size it may uh, change uh, the speed for both CPU uh, and GPU let me check it and see what happens here for example uh, instead of using uh, 9 by 9 I use for example 90 90 and instead of 3 I use for example 9 uh, let me build it Oh, it says it is a bit high let me change it to for example uh, 13 13 now let me put it 5 Control shift B ok stir the frame per second is uh, about eighteen hundred nineteen hundred something like this okay let me change the cpu speed for example here as it was here thirteen thirteen five uh, thirteen thirteen and change it to CPU run the rooster as you see here it is about uh, 1000 1100 something like this but uh, the GPU was much more than 
that. Uh, this is uh, the, the uh, difference here is not that much. It is about 50% uh, better, but in some cases uh, we will have uh, much more uh, better uh, performance from the GPU in the future lessons. You will see that. Okay, uh, thank you very much, guys. I uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.